Okay, continuing where we left off last time, I showed you how to add video clips and how to do a basic uh, transition. I also informed you that when you were doing uh, video, you have to make sure that your project is set up to the video format you're working with before you import the video or things like audio can get screwed up and uh, actually the video gets screwed up so it's in sync, un in sync, it's not in sync with uh, the audio. Uh, here in the US we use NTSC, so you want to click on that before you start working on your project. And you also want to make, might make that your default for all your projects. The way you would do that is when you're in your default setup when you first open Blender, click that, then go up to File and Save Default Settings. Now you don't want to do that right now or else every time you open up Blender it will come straight to the sequencer and try to open up this video project you're working on. So, um, but I have other videos on setting defaults, look into that more, but when you first open up Blender, click that, and then go up to save as defaults. So we did a basic uh, resizing and transition. Now let's uh, say we want to fade from black at the beginning of the video here. We will right click here, or I'm sorry, right click, space bar here, or you can go down to strip here or add, and uh, we're actually gonna go add effect and we're going to go down to color generator. Now, like I said, you can hit space bar and go down to color generator as well. And you'll see create a little little uh, little strip here. I'm going to put that right there, and I'm going to zoom in just by scrolling up on the mouse. And you see it's just a color uh, bar. It's gray. We can grab ends of it and grab and drag, or grab and drag like so. Make it how long you want. And uh, now that we have this video, this selected, remember right click to select. We're going to come down here, uh, you have these buttons here, uh, and we're going to click on this one here that looks like a little film strip, it says sequence button, and that uh, is going to represent some settings for whatever clip we have selected. We're going to select our color, and we're going to, here under effect, the only thing we have is the color, I'm going to change that to black. Obviously you can make it any color you want if you want to fade from white or a different color. So now we have a black clip, and it cuts to our video here. We're going to right click the color first and then the video, which is the lower blue one here. And we're, remember you do in that order, you want to go from the black to the video, space bar, gamma cross, and now we have our video fade from black to the video. So at this point, I also want to mention that I'm working with DV videos here, raw DV, which is what you usually would capture from your video camera with your DV camera. Now, Blender will let you import lots of different video formats, uh, but you may come across some issues with lag on some of them, depending on the format. So it's always good. DV is going to be probably the highest quality you're going to get uh, from your camera, and you want to keep working with DV until you're finally done, and then you can compress to something else when you throw on a DV. Uh, DVs are larger files, but they're best to work with to keep quality up and have uh, avoid any issues with lag on playback. At this point, I can hit uh, Alt A, and it starts playing the video back in the preview window here with audio. Uh, you can hit spacebar to stop that. You can also press play on the timeline here. By default, it doesn't play audio unless you click your little audio button there. But the easiest way I find is just use shortcut keys, and as I said, Alt A will start playing. Uh, so at this point, we fade from black, and we cross fade there to another video. Uh, we can also shorten this up by selecting these end caps here and hitting G, or we can put our clip, our line here somewhere, our little timeline video green. I don't know what you would call that. Select part of video and we can press K to cut and you can see it's, it did a little splice on that video and now we have separate clips we can pull those away and hit delete to delete them. Uh, and if I want to drag it back out I can drag it back out. Oops. Let's select the end of both of those. There we go. Why is that not? Am I selecting too many things? Uh, control Z to undo. Hmm. Oh, I know what the problem is because I did uh, K 
and I was actually about to get to this, I did K instead of Shift K. If you look at your strip settings here, you'll see you have lots of options for manipulating videos, uh, clips, and you have K, which is a hard cut, and Shift K, which is soft cut. So if I put my timeline right there, select these two, and I do Shift K, it splices the video, and I can grab and pull those away, but you can see it, it leaves a little line, color line showing how long that clip is, and I should be able to, yeah, resize the video at that point. So if you're going to want to resize it after you cut, make sure you do Shift K instead of K to cut. Select those, and I'm going to delete them. Now let's uh, finish our video with a fade out to black. I'm going to select, we can go and add another color right there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the black one we already have set up, and just like you would clone an object in the 3D view, I'm going to hit Shift D, and I have cloned that little black uh, color generated uh, clip that I've created. And now we have black at the end of our video, and once again we're going to click our video that we're going to come from, and then Shift click, click what we're going to, which is the color. And then we'll hit space and gamma cross. And now we will fade to black. Right there we're at 1627 frames. I'm going to go to our renderer. Uh, you can hit uh, this little icon right here, render button. I'm going to set this to 100, or sorry, 1627. And I am also going to set sequence. If you don't do do sequence here and you click animate, it's going to try to animate your 3D view, not the sequencer. So do sequence. And since we're working with video, we're going to want to save it as a video, not as a JPEG. Uh, and I like using FFmpeg. And then once you chose that, we can go up to video and choose your video format. Uh, if you're going to be putting it on a DVD, you can do MPEG2. If you're going online, you can do something like FLV. Or in our case, we want to do DV if we're still going to be, if we want to keep a high quality of the edited copy. So we click DV. And since we have audio, we also want to click Audio Plexer. And I'm going to pick PCM. If you're doing a DVD, you might want to pick MP2, which is the default there. And at this point, we can click Render or Animate, because Render would just be one frame. We're going to click Animate and it's going to start our animation rendering in our animating window. Now I do want to mention at this point that um, I found that there is an issue with the current Blender package inside your repositories if you're using Jaunty or a uh, distro based on Jaunty where if you try to use FFmpeg it actually crashes Blender when you click render or animate. Uh, simple fix for this, go to Blender and get the newest version of Blender uh, from Blender.org, um, which is a newer version. It's a shame that there seems to be quite a bit of bugs that I'm coming across in Jaunty that I didn't have when I was working in Debian. Um, so if you're working in Jaunty and you want to save something as uh, export using FFmpeg, go to uh, Blender.org and uh, and download the latest version. Supposedly this bug has been fixed in the soon to be released uh, Ubuntu uh, 9.10 I think it is. It's something karma, I don't know the name. Anyway, so that's a little bit further in our tutorial. Uh, visit filmsbychris.com, the link is in the description for more video tutorials like this.